I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. I am going to take three questions which are requested from my students. They have a test tomorrow. All these questions are from their textbook. Uh, let us look into these questions and then we will take them one by one. The very first one here is, does the point 456 lie in the plane? So we are given equation of the plane. We need to verify if that point lies on the plane or not. Second equation here, second question here is about explain why the three points do not determine a plane. Explain why the line and the point do not determine a plane. So in the second question, we'll try to understand what actually defines a plane and what does not define a plane, right? Here is the third question which says determine the vector, parametric and Cartesian equations of each of the following planes. And here we have four parts. The conditions given will cover the whole chapter a couple of times. So while answering this question, I might make for these four parts, I'm, I'll try to write Cartesian equation for all of them. But for vector and parametric, I'll just do for a couple of them. I hope that makes sense. Okay? So let's begin with the solutions. Video could be a bit long since we need to understand all the concepts. So we'll actually now start with the very first question, which is, does the point lie on the plane or not? So the best way to do is to write the equation in parametric form. Okay? So the idea also here is to understand how to do it. So we are given the vector equation. So first step number one should be write parametric form. Okay, so which will be, we'll write x as equal to 4, 3p, minus 6q. y value will be 1, minus 2p, and 6q, plus 6q. z will be equal to 6, minus 2p, uh, sorry, z value, p, plus p, and minus q minus q. Now, what are we given? We are given that this point is there and whether this lies on this or not. So the x value is 4. So we'll equate 4 for the first one, 5 for the second one, and 6 for the third one. So we actually get the equation 4 plus 3p minus 6q equals to 4 and like this. We have three equations now, right? So we'll call them as our equation number one, two, and three. I'm cutting down on these steps while I'm solving so that you understand the method. In your test, you have to write this statement separately, right? So I hope that point is clear. I'm trying to explain you as we move forward. Now, we need to somehow isolate P and Q. So from the first two equations, we see that if I add them up, then what happens? This Q value cancels, right? And we could get the value for P. So we could isolate P. So now I'm going to just add these two equations. So when I add, I get 4 plus 1 as 5, 3P minus 2P as plus P, Minus 6q plus 6q is 0, right? So I'm writing here 0. And here, 4 plus 5 is 9. So you see that? So now we can find the value of p easily, right? So the value of p is equal to what? p is equal to 9 minus 5. And that is 4. So we got one value. Now, same two equations we can now find the value of q since we know the value of p. So we are going to substitute 4 for p. So that is the value. We got p as equal to 4. Clear? 
if I substitute 4 for p in the first equation, let us say, then what do we get? We have 4 plus 3 times 4 minus 6 q equals to 4, right? Now from here, we can write 6 q is what? So we get 4 plus 12 minus 4 equals to 6 q. So that means 12 is equal to 6q or the value of q is 12 divided by 6 which is 2. So we get q as equal to 2. So from these two equations we have found that the value for p is 4 and the value for q is 2. Now if this point lies on the given plane, then substituting these two values in the third equation should satisfy the equation. Correct? So let's substitute. So we'll now sub p equals to, to 4 and q equals to 2 in our equation number 3. Clear? So that should explain us whether the point is on the plane or not. So the equation is 6 plus p value, I am writing as 4, minus q value as 2. Let's see what this is. So we, I am writing this as left side, right? So 4 plus 6 is 10, minus 2 actually gives us 8. We wanted what? We wanted 6, right? Since it is 8, which is not equal to 6, so we say that the point 4, 5, 6, will not lie on the plane. Is that clear to you? So that is how you are going to explain. Perfect. I have cut down on some steps, but I have explained them. In your test, you have to write each step separately. Don't mix this up, right? This set of equations should be written separately and then solve. I hope it is absolutely clear, right? Now let's take up the next question. Here is the second question. Importance of this question is that it really tells you what is necessary to define a plane, right? So while answering this question, keep that in mind. Explain why the three points do not determine a plane. So if I have to define a plane, in that case the three points should be non-collinear right so that is the key so we are looking for three points but they should be non-collinear right so so important thing here is that three non-collinear points define a plane right now this is a communication question and therefore you need to explain the answer properly. So that means that if I prove that these points are collinear, in that case they cannot define a plane, right? So let's label these points as points A, B and C, okay? And let's find what is the direction from A to B, right? So A to B will be what? So we'll have 8 minus 2, let's write it, 8 minus 2. 5 minus 3 and here minus 5 minus of minus 1 will make it plus 1 right so this direction will be 6 5 minus 3 is 2 and that is minus 4 correct? now let's find the direction from we could actually say B to C or we could also say from A to C right so either way we could do so I prefer to keep one point common that helps Let's do from A to C, right? So at least we know this point is common. We first check that point, And now we are checking the third point. Is it in the same line? That's the whole idea. So that gives us minus 1, minus 2, 2, minus 3, 1, minus, minus 1 makes it plus. So minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3. 2, minus 3 is minus 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So we get this direction, right? What do you notice? You notice that AB 
is basically equal to minus 2 times 3 minus 1, 2. I mean, do you see that? So that means it is scalar multiple. of AC right now since it is a scalar multiple we say that the points are collinear points right therefore no space here so I'm writing here right therefore ABC are collinear points okay and so they cannot define a plane right cannot define a plane. Is that clear? Now let's look into the second part. Explain why this line and this point do not determine a plane. Now when we are looking for a point and a line then we know that the point and line should not be, I mean the point should be separate, right? Point should be somewhere away from the line right so point is not on the line so if we prove that then it is fine correct so let's uh, again try to prove it as we did in the last case we'll write this equation in parametric form so we can say that the equation is x equals to 4 plus uh, t right y equals to 9 minus 40 and z equals to minus 3 plus 2t right now we are given the point which is 8 minus 7 and 5 so again i'm not rewriting this equation i'm writing this as equal to 8 this as equal to minus 7 this as equal to 5 we're just checking if the point is on the line or not now if now we are trying to solve this equation if 4 plus t is equals to 8 then t is equal to what t is 8 minus 4 which is equal to 4 correct so we got a value of t as 4 now we need to check if substituting 4 gives us minus 7 for y and for z it gives us 5 or not so let's substitute right so we are going to sub here right so sub 4 for t, we get what? 9 minus 4 times 4, which is 9 minus 16, which is indeed minus 7. And if I substitute here, I get what? Minus 3 plus 2 times 4, t is 4, right? And I get minus 3 plus 8, which is indeed equal to 5. So that shows what? So this implies that the point... 8 minus 7 phi lies on the line on the given line therefore this point and line cannot define a plane does make sense to you perfect so that is how you're going to communicate and hopefully get full marks